yesterday, the CDC, and I had thought they wouldn't do this for another couple of weeks, but uh, they announced yesterday that vaccinated people no longer need to wear masks outdoors as long as they're in a non-crowded situation, like you're not at a concert or you're not in um, wherever crowds, you know, maybe, I guess maybe a baseball game, but I, they're, they're spreading people out at baseball games. I don't uh, even think they say baseball games. I think it's basic, even though it, that probably would be fine, but since you're sitting sort of with clusters of people, you're probably not going to a baseball game alone. I think it's more like, you know, if you're going for a run or something. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you're going for a run, certainly if you're walking around, you're fine. Um, and so there are, you know, specific, uh, uh, crowded areas where they say no. And, um, there is of course, you know, some measure of hesitancy. You see things that are like what are happening in, for instance, uh, in India. Um, there's every reason to believe that the vaccines are incredibly effective the uh of the millions of millions of people in this country who have received a vaccination there's only a, a single digit thousands who have had what they call breakthrough infections um and even in those instances uh there are very very few instances of serious covid cases and ones that would lead to death however you're dealing with a pandemic. And so if you're going to err on the side of anything, it is caution. Who could possibly argue against that? Who could possibly argue that fundamentally your life is altered in such a detrimental way that if you continue to wear a mask at, let's say, an outdoor concert where there are tens of thousands of people around you, that it is so costly, the opportunity cost is so great that this is a grave mistake. Well, apparently most of those people who feel that way are either working at Fox News or at some other conservative quote unquote news outlet. Here's a clip yesterday from Dagan McDowell. I don't know who she is. She's on Fox and Five or The Five or whatever it is. And they make the announcement a couple hours before she says this. And it's clear she woke up in the morning with, I know what my bit's going to be today on the Fox 5. Oh, darn it. They have actually relaxed the, the mask mandate for vaccinated people. Well, forget it. I'm still going with exactly what I had this morning, even though I know that they have actually uh, done this. Get rid of them. Let them get. Are they going to be Neanderthals too? Absolutely. The only thing that's going to come out of this announcement today is surely some left wing lunatics are going to start picking fights with people who are out in the street, n not wearing masks. They're, you're the self appointed shame police, the screeching pod people <laughs> demanding <laughs> proof of your vaccine. It's going to be a nightmare in New York. <laughs> I would recommend that Dagan watch a network called Fox News should be easy. They probably run it there at Fox News. And she looks at the primetime television program that they featured the night before, where their host, Tucker Carlson, spent an extended period of time telling people that if your child is forced to wear a mask at school, you should approach it as if a teacher had beaten that child. If you see someone who is wearing a mask, you should go up and tell them to take it off as you're walking around. She is accusing a hypothetical pod person of doing exactly what Tucker Carlson had done the night before to millions and millions of people. And understand, there are people who are going to be wearing masks out there. They're going to be children who maybe are immunocompromised. Uh, maybe they have um, uh, some other uh, uh, disease. Maybe they have cancer. 
that maybe they make feel it... like it, they're doing their patriotic duty or their duty to society, and that makes that child feel like they have a sense of purpose and feels good. What whatever it is, but the idea that these people are going to be harassed now by Tucker Carlson followers uh, for not being as cavalier as they have been. Uh, is absurd. We have five over f- 550,000 people, probably more, have died in this country of this uh, disease. And some people can't get uh, vaccinations because of, like I say, the immunocompromise. Um, and the idea that they're going to get harassed. But Fox needs to make this an issue because it's just not sticking. There needs to be some type of aggrievement. In fact, our guest today is going to be talking about this dynamic. It's fascinating. Well, let me just say, though, I mean, you said that maybe she could take a listen to their top cable host, Tucker Carlson, because uh, he, you know, performed all of that shaming last night that she says that liberals are going to do the conservatives. But I would counter that it seems like she's watching him thoroughly because she's just using his exact same. Everyone on this network who's trying to be somebody is quite pathetic. They're just recycling Tucker talking points, repackaging them for themselves, and then maybe, you know, lazily using what their producers prepare for them as spin. Um, that's this is the new way that the right is moving and everybody on in Fox is trying to get on the bandwagon. Oh, Emma, if that was true, then uh, this morning on Fox and Friends, you would have heard the same thing. If what you're saying was true. What? Great point. If you want me to get the vaccine, give me an incentive to get the vaccine. And that is to take off these freaking masks that everyone's so tired of. And I think the reason he didn't come out, he came out with the mask is he wants to say, oh, the big reveal, no more masks, let's throw it away. But people around the country are saying, we've been doing this already. Thanks, Mr. President. We've already been doing this. Anthony Fauci's. He literally just did that. He just did that. They didn't even change their talking points after biden's address the the hilarious part about this is a she's vaccinated so she doesn't need so somehow she was able to find an incentive to vaccinate um and then she's saying that like oh the idea that he's taking off his mask is also wrong and people have already done it well if people have already done it then what is the incentive to get the vaccine according to her like this is all just I mean, it is, it really is stunning. And if, if, if the implications of this hadn't already killed literally tens, hundreds of thousands of people and conceivably kill hundreds or thousands, you know, in the future, maybe a couple of thousand people, um, it would be hilarious, but it is just, it's just disturbing. I mean, it's just, completely disturbing um all right we're going to uh uh take a quick break uh, and when we come back we'll be talking to kyle reismandel about um the neighborhood of fear suburban crisis in american culture in 1995 to 2001 which really um g- explains a lot as to how we got here today This one piece of breaking news, the New York Times has just uh, reported that federal investigators have executed a search warrant at Rudy Giuliani's apartment. Prosecutors obtained the warrant as part of an investigation into whether Giuliani broke lobbying laws as President Trump's personal lawyer. I can't even imagine that uh, America's mayor would do something like that. I won't believe it at all. He's just too wholesome for that. In the meantime, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back.